Okay. Hi friends. Hi. I'm Maddie. I'm Kristen. And this is the We Share Needles podcast. Yay. Episode 14. Episode 14. Yay. Um, if you don't know us, now you know us. Hi. Hi. Um, nice to meet you. Yes. This is a knitting podcast. Most Mostly. of the time. <laughs> I feel like I always say that now. Like this is a knitting podcast. Just to clarify. Most of the time. Um, actually it's going to be like all knitting today, right? It's the Maddie show. The Ooh. Maddie knitting show today. I lost my sock. <laughs> Hi, so we are two um, mostly knitters from Arkansas, mm -hmm. and we are just best friends, not related. <laughs> we love to knit, we love to craft, we love yarn. A little sewing, a little crocheting. Yeah. A little like jewelry. I make stitch knitting. markers That's occasionally. True. That's true. Mostly knitting. Primarily socks. Yes. Mm -hmm. mo not right now, but most most of the time, yes. I feel like even when I say I lost my sock mojo, my mojo is still stronger than most. True. I feel like we're already chaotic. That's what people like about us, is right? It, is that what you guys like? Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're in my bedroom and we are standing up and it's a Tuesday. It is Tuesday, it's July 6th. It's a Tuesday evening. Mm -hmm. We just had 4th of July, which was super fun. Yes. But Maddie was out of town, so we didn't get to do our normal filming schedule. Normally our videos would go up Wednesday, which is tomorrow at 10. It's not going to happen. Just letting you know. Um, not that this would matter because it's already... You won't know, you know until it is up. Know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're off schedule. We're off of our normal... Air. We don't have a normal area. I think we always say we we're filming around. in a new place. Yeah. Um, we're standing today. We're trying something new because we couldn't get the camera to be normal. So mm -hmm, we're standing. Mm -hmm. um, and my room's a mess, but you can see all my yarn back there. Kind of fun. I can't um, tell if I'm going to decrease right or not. Hmm. What do you mean? Like, what is the stitch doing? What did I do? Uh, something awkward. Decrease knit, decrease knit. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> I'm knitting on socks. I'm knitting on socks. <laughs> She's knitting on a complicated part of a sock. I mean, not really. The heel, the heel toe, you know? Yeah, the afterthought heel. Mm -hmm. So what did you do for 4th of July? Me? I yeah. hung out with my family. Um, my boyfriend has COVID. So... <laughs> <laughs> didn't hang out with him. <laughs> didn't get to hang out with him at all. It's my birthday this week. My boyfriend has COVID. It's already a sad day, so I'm not excited about any of it. Um, and now, you know, boyfriend has COVID. We were, he was supposed to meet my whole family. Oh. Got COVID. We had a date scheduled, and he texted me and was like, babe, I can't smell my cologne. I just put my cologne on me, and I can't smell it. And I was like, already worried because one of his friends got COVID. And I was like, oh. I don't. I have zero interest in having COVID. <laughs> no, thank you. I've gone this long without it. I don't want I know. It. And we were both vaccinated, so it doesn't matter. But I mean, he is not vaccinated. Yeah, not we are both vaccinated. We are both vaccinated because we're normal adult humans. My boyfriend is not. And <laughs> True that. So <laughs> he subscribes. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> he was going to, um, we were going to have a full fun weekend with my family, but he got COVID, so he couldn't. So it was just me and my family, and my family's crazy. We go, we, my sister lives in the country country, so we got to shoot off the big fireworks in her backyard, and there was a lake, and we went swimming, and barbecued, and it was really, really fun. So, overall, just missed my boyfriend. Good 4th of July. <laughs> what about That's you? Good. Mine was really good. I um, went to Texas, to the Dallas area. My middle school best friend has lived in Dallas for like seven or eight years now, and is moving to California with her fiance for a new job um, next month. So this is going to be my last Dallas trip, but... To her. Yes, Dallas trip to her, at least. <laughs> but I go, like, two or three times a year, usually, to see her and, and hang out around Dallas. I have some family in Dallas, so... But anyway, so I went down, hung out with her and her family, and shot off fireworks and barbecued and did all that. And then she wanted to learn how to knit socks, so I taught her. Um, she had started watching some videos. I sent her the Crazy Sock Lady... Um, vanilla sock on nine inch video and all the links to like the right supplies and stuff but we went yarn shopping she finished up her sock gave her some pointers and then we went to McKinney knittery and I went to McKinney twice because I went on the way there because I wasn't I didn't know she wanted to do that and then went back a couple days later with her and then I went to Lone Star Fibers in Plano Texas as well um, and stopped at Arkansas Yarn Co on my way there but um, it was really fun so a very yarny weekend um, which was really exciting. I have some presents for Kristen from my yarning adventures. I'm so excited about. She's. I think I'm you saw one of them, sure. but 
And the other one's a secret, a surprise. Oh, yeah, surprise. Um, yeah, I'm bad at surprises, so I'm proud of myself for not showing you yet. Um, yeah, so that was my weekend. <laughs> it was just lots of lots of knitting, lots of time with family, lots of time in the pool. Um, I was very jealous of your foodie ventures. It was really yummy. And all of the wine and slash white claws I saw. I guess it was not white claw, but some sort of seltzery drink, right? Did it have seltzers? I don't know. It looked bubbly. Maybe you were drinking champagne. Oh, we had mimosas. Mm. We went to brunch a couple of the days and had mimosas and lots of wine. I love brunch. Mm -hmm. It's like the most basic thing about me is I like Starbucks and I like brunch. Mm -hmm. We went to this little brunch place in Forney, Texas, which is like 45 minutes outside of Dallas. Um, I can't remember what it was called, like Tina's or something. Just like a little... <coughs> Sorry, a little, I know, right? A little local breakfast place and had coffee and mimosas and breakfast. It was amazing. So it was a really good weekend. Love that for you. Yeah, I drove back late last night, so I'm kind of tired because I got home and had to like do laundry and get all that stuff ready and then get up nice and early for work today. But I'm here. I'm I'm thriving. So a knot in my sock. I'm knitting a sock. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was really jealous, and she we we keep in contact like all day. Constantly. <laughs> We're like the really clingy best friends that, you know, are probably too old to be this clingy to each We're other. We're a little codependent. It's okay. Whatever. Yeah. My therapist says it's fine. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, I was just jealous the whole time. It was really sad. I was like, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Pop off. Yikes. I had a great one, though. It was really nice, though, to see her having fun. It was good. I yeah. needed to get away and have a minute, so that was really fun. And I got lots of knitting done, so I have a lot to talk about, which is exciting. Yeah. So should we jump into some knitting? Yeah. We used to do a thing called Creator Corner, which we kind of dropped, but we don't really have a lot of Creator Corner stuff to talk about. Yeah. Um, we did last time we had Vessel Stitch Co., mm -hmm. but we didn't really do it as a Creator Corner, and we should have because I missed that segment. Yeah, we definitely should have. It's just, it's hard because we both kind of have our favorites or like the people we buy from most often. So it's like, usually you'll see similar makers or the same creators over and over in our stuff just because, I mean, of course, Arkansas Yarn Co, y'all know we love them, but then like I, my vibes are very much Arkansas Yarn Co, stress knits, that type stuff, the cozy knitter, and Kristen has like her few. So it's difficult to find a new, a new maker every time. This is ridiculous. What did I do? <laughs> it's not me. It was the ball. Aww. It's okay. I'm just going to knit a knot into my sock. I would. Okay. So what should we start with? Should we start with acquisitions or do you want to start with FOs? Do you, how many FOs do you got? Yeah, I have two FOs. Let's do FOs because I only have one. You have two. Yeah. That's, that's a good number of things. Cool. Um, mm -hmm. Let me finish my row really quick. I'm knitting on, I told you I was knitting on a sock. This is Arkansas Yarn Co. Um, these socks are from my oldest brother. He is getting married this weekend and asked me for socks that would match his suit. Um, which is adorable. So I'm knitting him. My main color is Night and Shining Armor, and my heels, toes, and cuffs are the Duke of Hastings from the Bridgerton collection. And he has this exact colorway combo, but swap. So he has one where the main color is the Duke of Bridgerton, and the contrast is Night and Shining Armor. But he asked for the reverse for his wedding, which I think is cute. Um, so I have that. Uh, the first sock of that pair is done. So it's right here. Finishing the other one. So I can block them tonight and have those ready for him. And then I have, technically I have three other FOs. I just don't have them all to show. Um, one, I finished a pair of Georgia socks. in we'll Bamboo put it in Pop. a picture. Yeah. And Bamboo Pop sock in that blue colorway. Um, because my next class at Arkansas Yarn Co. is going to be the Georgia socks on Bamboo Pop sock. Um, so I got that sample over to them so they could photograph it and get the advertising out. Because that class is going to be late August, early September. So that's one of my FOs. And then I finished my little 4th of July shorties. These are Mandy's Makings, one of the share a pair sets in the military family share a pair. Um, I gave Kristen the other half of the share a pair set. And I did the little, a, a pair of tab shorties, which I've never done before. But you cast on, knit several rows, and then do like a short row tab, and then knit some more rows. And then I picked up and joined, so this part's doubled over. So I picked up my cast on edge and knit it together with my live stitches. Um, and then I just knit 10 rows and then did a heel flap and gusset. My notes on how I did that tab are on my Ravelry page because I just kind of made it up and like winged the short rows. So if you think I winged it well, you can look at my notes. 
Um, so there's those. I love them. They're sparkle, but you can't really tell. And I finished them the morning of 4th of July, so I wore them around a little bit. Didn't wear them all day because we were in the pool most of the day. But yeah. And then my biggest FO. My biggest favorite oh FO. God, it's so pretty. It's my it rocket tee. I'm going to put it on later. Put it on. Yeah. 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 I've worn it three times. <laughs> I love it. I think I want to knit another one in solid. And I think I could go down a size. Because it's big. Like, it's comfy. It's oversized. I love it. But if I knit it again, I will do two stripes less in length. And... Oh man, I, mean, I like convinced you to do two extra stripes. Yeah, I wish I hadn't, but I'm not pulling it out. It's fine. It's just a little longer than it is like completely wearable. Like if it were a little shorter, I could layer it better on stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but I really, really love it. I just think with it being so sheer with the mohair, it would be an awesome layering piece over dresses. Um, so I may just make like a cropped version for that. But I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I um, This is the Rocket Tee by Tannis Lavelli. Lavelli, Lavelli. Um, my fingering weight is Dragon Horde Yarns in Drink Me. And my mohair, God, those colors are beautiful. My mohair is Sea Glass from Arkansas Yarn Co. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so it's much. It's so good. It's a my, good color. My goal was to finish this um, by the end of June, and I finished it on June 27th. So I nailed that. And this is my first entry into our summer tea make along. Woo! Yay! Which, by the way, is going so well. I love seeing everyone's yes. pictures. There were like, I think ah. there were four or five FOs already. Yeah, there are. Which is so exciting. I'm excited too. I love seeing people's progress pics. So many people are going with like a like mauve color. Yeah. I love it. I love it a lot. It's so, so good. Um, someone's trying to get into my room, but there's only cats home. Murderer. So it's cats. You can take them. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, last time I talked about this, I think I had said that I was planning on picking up and modifying the sleeves. I did not. I did them just to pattern. I thought about adding a couple of stripes, um, but then I decided just to embrace my arms. Whatever. Who cares? Um, it's a really wide sleeve. I think it's cute. It's oversized. It's fun. It looks and so it's cute. And it's done! It. Yeah, I love it under your blazer. Adorable. Yes. I, I've worn it to work. And then I wore it um, when we went yarn shopping yesterday. Yeah, I saw yesterday. it on Texas trip. So cute. It was really cute. And I got lots of compliments on all the yarn stores I was in. So that's fun. <laughs> it still smells good. So what did you finish? I only finished one thing. And it was a test knit for our dear friend, Ash Christine Design. Yeah, we love her. So she came out with a test knit. I want to call it, I think it's called the Whirlwind Romance Kerchief. Um, and it was really cute, really easy. I finished it in like two days. You can't really tell. Okay, so I'll, I guess I'm going to show it buttoned first. Yeah. So it's got a little button. You put it on your head like this. I have my hair up, so it's not going to look good on me right now. But I have a picture. I'll put it right here over Maddie's face. Um, it's really cute. I was really and, tempted to like make an ugly face just then. And no. Just like, <laughs> look at it. It's cute. Um, and it's actually super wearable. It's a really well-written pattern. Super easy. Um, just a bunch of like lace repeats. It's got this cute little center line. I did a new new thing I've never done, which is a garter tab cast on. Ooh, I love a garter tab. I guess tab. that's a Stephen West technique because when I was Googling it, I found his video. He does it in his shawls a lot. Yeah, and so I did that. It's got this little garter edge. It's really, really cute. It looks su super cute on. And um, I just sewed this little button I got from one of my yarnable boxes on there. Cute. And um, I love it. I wore it to work. I got a lot of compliments. Someone was like, did you make that thing on your head? <laughs> Uh, yes, I, I did. Like, Very well, much so. That's not a compliment, but uh, yes, I did. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then she was like, oh, it's real cute. And I was like, thanks. Do you mean that? <laughs> I don't know. I work with all women. It's terrible. Um, but <laughs> I love women, but you know. <laughs> gay. You know, <laughs> so gay. Um, but it's really cute. I like it a lot. This is uh, in um, Arkansas Yarn Co., I think it's Yummy Sparkle in the color Mustang Sally, which I used for my Christmas socks. And I had like 70 grams left because I used it for like heel toes cuffs. Um, and so I made this and I still have like 50 grams left. Um, I would definitely do this pattern again. I will link it below um, as well as Ash Christine Designs because she's wonderful. And I'm really glad I got to finally knit a pattern of hers. It is fingering weight, which I, we talked about her patterns last time, and I said I haven't knit one because most of them are in DK worsted. But on the odd chance she does a fingering one, I would definitely knit a pattern of hers again. So, 
check her out. Uh, when this releases, I think next week, I want to say, um, go get it, knit it. I don't know how much it's going to be, and you probably hate what I'm doing with it, but <laughs> I don't care. We also, we still have a coupon code for Ash Christine's um, Stitch Marker Club, her Vessel Stitch Co. Club, so we will link that below. We talked about yeah. her last week, um, our last podcast talked about her stitch markers, um, and we still love them. We've both been using them. They're yes, great. I am. Yeah. Um, but that's my only FO because I mostly didn't knit. Yeah. On Well, I knit on one project a whole lot and then I knit on my now six again pairs of socks because I cast on a new sock. Nice. So, so many socks. Socks galore. I really want to be done with my top so that I can um, start on another one. Same. I want oh, to finish my... Sorrel. So bad. I'll start it next with you. <laughs> um, I want to finish my bright axis so I can start my summer sorrel. Summer sorrel. Yes. Can't talk. Summer sorrel. Summer sorrel. Summer sorrel. What is that? Simple yarn summer sorrel. What is sorrel? Yarn, summer sorrel. Yeah, she uses sorrel in like her, it's wool and pine, right? That yeah. Dog. No. Wool and pine. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Same it is. as sea glass tea, yeah? Yeah. You're um, right. <laughs> <laughs> she uses sorrel, and I'm like, what is that? <laughs> it sounds so weird when you sorrel. say sorrel. Sorrel. So the more we say it, the less it sounds it like a real word. It's not a word. I think she made it up. Sorrel. That's okay. She can make it up if she I wants. don't think she did. Tell us what it means. Somebody <laughs> knows. <laughs> Somebody. Someone out there knows what that means. Not us. Oh, man. Standing up is a bad choice. Yeah, I feel like we're extra crazy. Extra crazy. We were going to do a lot of poses. Yeah, we're going to do sorority poses yeah. the whole time. Back to back. <laughs> Charlie's Angel. I hate us. <laughs> 2002 prom. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I'm not. Acquisitions? Acquisitions! Yeah. I only have a couple. You want me to go first? Or you, oh, you already got a bag <laughs> Maddie's like, no. <laughs> we'll break it up. I'll show my bags and then you can go. Okay. Um, I ordered some Mountain State Stitches bags in her last update. So I got this one. One of her small bags. And then I got this one. One of her large ones. And then I'll show you what's oh, inside them. Oh, it's so cute. Right? It's the dandelions. Is that what that's supposed to be? And they're little snails. Look. Look real close. They're snails. Oh, there it is. He's so cute. Let's see my snail. I like him. I'll show you what's in them after Kristen goes. <laughs> it's her turn. <laughs> For a drink of water. <laughs> um, yeah. Chaos. So... Last time, um, I had already received my pride box, but I didn't get to show it um, because I didn't have it with me. This is what's in it. It's really pretty. This is from Hypnotic Yarns, the yarnable box, but this was the pride box. So she took a bunch of her extra goodies that she had left over and she dyed up a new colorway for pride. And then she donated some of the proceeds to, I think the Trevor Project or maybe something similar, some anti-bullying gay rights kind of thing. And so that's what this is for. It's called Grainbow. Cute. It's really cute. It's kind of blown out a little bit, but it's like a soft bluish gray and a lot of like rainbow speckles, um, just solid speckles. And I love it. I love it a lot. Maddie has seen it a couple times and every time she's like, what is that? <laughs> and so then I think I brought the goodies. I think I put them over here somewhere. Um, did I not? Mm. We're, I'm a mess. Not you, it's me. <laughs> I'm a mess. Oh, here they are. Okay, so these are some of her extra goodies. And the only reason I put this back up here because we both did not like the stupid cup holder thing. We were both like, that's dumb. It's, <laughs> it's like a cardboard, what do you call it? Coaster. Coaster. Cardboard coaster. I put it on my nightstand, but it got destroyed really quickly. Yeah, not very useful. And then I have this cute little hat pin, which I already lost my other one, so I'm glad I got another one. Because nice. um, these were all leftovers. But this one, this little stitch marker thing, is the best. It's the most helpful stitch marker that we have. Um, in fact, when we showed Lori at Arkansas Yarn Co., she ran to find hers because she was like, that's the best. It is a make one left, make one right, um, like kind of key. It tells you how to do a make one left and a make one right. Because you know when you're doing your pattern, you pick it up and you're like, crap, which way? <laughs> is it through the front or do I wrap it in the back? You know, like, I can never remember. Never remember. So now we have this and I keep it with me. <laughs> Um, and this is my second one, so. You're all set. I love it. One at home, yeah. one in your bag. I love it a lot. Oh, this is one of the 
stitch markers I got from um, Ash Christine from Vessel Stitch Co. I gave Maddie one too, yes, right? I have one too. Yes. I have another one that's in another American flag, but that was there. So that was my Yarnable box. And I only have one more. And again, the Yarnable box. This is the July yeah. Yarnable box. And I haven't opened it at all. So. Crinkle, crinkle. Yeah. If, if you guys. Uh, now's your time to look away. Yeah. Now's your. I'll put a code up if I remember for the time code. If you don't want to see it. I feel like I'm the only one who's like that anal about not opening or looking at my box. I already know what it's <laughs> like. <laughs> well, this one doesn't know how to do a surprise. I don't like surprises. She's very impatient. So. Let's see what's in our little box. This time. Oh, I got a whole book. Oh, really? oh, this is so cute. So this is, okay, now it's time to look away. This is the um, notepad little thing. It's like a little notes for your. Oh, cute. Yeah. So you've got like today's big goal and then like water up here. And this, that's me. I need that. Priorities, appointments, notes, knitting to do, <gasps> reminders. And then it says pick your project down here. And that's super cute. I wonder I love it's yarnable.net. So she probably had these made. I love her. I love, she's so creative. This is, um. What is her name? Hip not Michelle? Cheryl. Cheryl. <laughs> yes, I get emails from Cheryl all the time. Cheryl at Hypnotic Iron. You're so creative. I think she's watched a couple of our videos before. Yeah, she's sweet. Um, and then we Love have... you, Cheryl. Last month, the little um, so honeycomb looking stitch markers that we got that I was so obsessed with. I messaged Cheryl after we podcasted and asked her if she had any extras, and she let me buy like five more cards of them. So They're we so both good. have so many more now. I love them. Um, so then oh, inside cute. it, you get this little um, coupon code for your next purchase from Hypnotic, not Yarnable, Hypnotic, um, which Love is that. Cool. I use it like every time. It's ridiculous. It says, did you know July is National Watermelon Month, National Hot Dog Month, and National Ice Cream Month? These are all good things. Good knowledge to have. Um, and then you get this little sticker. It says knitting vibes since all like 4th of July E. It's going directly on my Yeti immediately. <laughs> I love it. It's so cute. And then you get this, um, it says clay cannon. It's a stitch marker that looks like a bomb pop. Now we're gonna have to switch out that class. I can't. I can fix that. Yeah. I'll take it home. I mean, I could, I guess, use that as a stitch marker and not no, a. I have the earring back with yeah. it. I'll swap it for you. Or a progress keeper or something. Do you want me to throw it in my bag so I don't forget? I want it back. Yeah, I'll I fix it, it tonight. Okay. And then here's the yarn. <laughs> my mom just got home too, so we might have to pause in a minute. But. Um, oh my <gasps> god! Yes. Of course you love it. Yes, it's us. I'm casting it I on tonight. I'm, it. I, it's in my mailbox at home. It's I saw it get so delivered. Pretty. I got the ring doorbell notification. I almost left work. I was like, I need it right I now. I love it so much. It smells good. Um, so the, we love the color blue. If you haven't watched this before, blue is our favorite. I like this bright blue, and Nat, Maddie likes more navies and teals and like earthier tone blues. Yeah. And, or jewel tone blues, I guess. I don't really know. But I love this bright blue. This is you. This is us. I love it. It's so cute. Um, it, I want it to be a Musselberg, but I know it's going to be socks. It's got to be socks for you. I'll probably be a Musselberg for me. I love her her yarn as Musselbergs. Yeah. It would um, be such a good Musselberg. So I get the plush sock. Mm -hmm. This is 1815 Summer Superwash. Vibes. Summer Vibes is the name of the colorway. I love it. Her ball bands are adorable. Um, but she, let's see. Yeah, so this yarn is just a really good base. We're very used to knitting with it. She like wraps her skein so tight. tight. They're like little <laughs> bricks. <laughs> but we love it. Okay, so I'll remember to put in the code. Now you're back because you didn't safe. watch Yarnable. No, you're good. It was so good. You missed you out. You missed it. Um, <laughs> is it my turn? That's all I bought. No, I do have yarn coming in the mail. Well, it doesn't count if it's not here. It doesn't count. Well, it should be here. It's been in Chicago since June 25th. Ew. Chicago. Look at my basket. Oh, so pretty. Uh, Y'all already saw the basket because you liked the picture. I posted it on Instagram. <laughs> um, I don't even know how to start. I'm just going to start going through it. I'll start chronologically. I went to Arkansas Yarn Co. first on my way. Lori, when I walked in, I surprised her. It was cute. She was very excited. Oh, my gosh. Um, and then I walked she in. She asked my permission, first of all. I did. I said, she had to can ask. I go to Arkansas Yarn Co.? <laughs> Without you. Is that okay? I also, um, my other half FO, I finished one of my String of Hearts socks, finally. But I took it to Lori because she dyed up more String of Hearts kits and wanted to display it with them um, for the crawl. And I wanted her to have it to advertise with. So... 
I'll work on the second one eventually and you'll see it later. But I walked in and Lori had dyed up this beautiful thing and oh. said, do you like it? What is that one? It was a mistake. She had like five or six of them. It was a mistake. She said she had dyed it and it was on like a white base and she didn't like it. So she dipped it in gray. I was like, oh, amazing. She has some in the shop. It was not named when I bought it. So I don't know. But this is the base that makes me know that Lori loves me because she brought it back after all my nagging. Mm, this high is twist. high twist. <laughs> it's my favorite. Look at that texture. Oh, oh my gosh. I ah. feel like my hair makes me look like a small dog right now. Do you guys look? Over <laughs> what? <laughs> I was looking at my hair and I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my god. I just I love it. That's a good one. So then I purchased one for Kristen. Yes, this is confetti. It made me think of her instantly. I was like, she needs it. Kristen needs it. I think that they showed me that when she was dying mm -hmm. it. And it's on high twist. I'm so excited. Yeah. Um so she showed us and we have a group chat with the ladies there <laughs> except for Anna we need to get her on the group yeah. chat um because it's so funny today we were just going off about kitchens um <laughs> which was super fun I'd be like that but they sent me this when it was like, still hanging drying and I was like oh uh, and Maddie said that is Kristen's soul in a skein and it is look it's at so it so good it's look at her ball bands this, Lori yeah Lori did a, a like extreme makeover on her ball bands they're <laughs> uh -oh. amazing she used to have a little tag we loved the tag it was like a little cut out like yeah, flower I shape like this thing better, though. but this is so good yeah. I love it a lot you have like all her little icons down here you so can't cute. click on that though which makes me laugh you know <laughs> <laughs> who's got her like Instagram like you can like click it's just to know that you can look her up there she's there um she's going die crazy before the Arkansas yarn call at the end of this month so y'all so get ready fun. I got you one other thing too from, also from Lori Lori's yarn smells better than anyone's yarn <gasps> yay okay so when she asked if she could go <laughs> <laughs> to Arkansas yarn co without me I said yes but you have to be back one of these <laughs> And she picked the That's best one. So, okay, I went back and forth because there was a blue one too, but I was like, no, you're rainbow. Okay, uh, this is amazing. Mod modular, modular? I guess so. Ravelry it's a little notions Instagram. kit. So yeah, they have the website there, modular, modular. It's a little notions kit. It's got scissors and um, a like little a tape measure. gauge it. thing. Oh, and, and some stitch markers. Mm -hmm. I feel like Lori actually put more stuff in there. Oh, oh no, so. it's a, ga a needle gauge. Yeah. And like a darning needle? Yeah. Oh, and it's, this is cute because it's in the same shape. Really cute. I've never used one of these, but I, if I use DPNs, I'm sure that that would be helpful. Very handy. Oh, the needle is purple. And it's the crooked tip yeah, one that favorite. I like. And then it's got this little little ring ones. I like these. Yeah. These are good for bigger ones. Mm -hmm. I like a plain stitch marker for, like, beginning of round. Mm -hmm. Me I too. I don't like the dangling dangly ones. ones. Oh, and there's another? Something. Oh, that's the scissors. And the scissors are in there. The, the little, little foldy ones. Foldy scissors. Oh, these ones are nice. Yeah. Is this expensive? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even ask. I just said, ring it up. Yeah. I got Michelle Little one too. My friend. <laughs> this is so cute. I love it. Thank you, friend. Yeah. <laughs> and then the last thing I got from Lori, um, she has a signature scent now with tuft woolens. Oh, I forgot So about I got her, Arcan <laughs> or it's Arkansas Yarn Co. Wild Flowers. I got yes. the sock soap. Does it smell great? Right? Mm -hmm. It's floral, but it's like lightly floral. I really like it. Um, so I got one of those for me, and then I got one for my friend Michelle too, who I went to visit. And then, um, then I went to McKinney Knittery on my way there, and purchased. I'm gonna put this down. Yeah, you want me to hold it for you? Oh, no, that's fine. I'll just turn it around. White. I got my first trip to McKinney. You're so cute. I got some long dog yarns. <laughs> Beautiful. That was uh, on your wish list. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it so much. So it's, I just got a hundred gram skein and then eight hundred gram. Yeah, that's right. And then a 20 gram skein. Oh, so cute. So that's going to be socks. It's so pretty. For me. Yes. Yes. For you. Obviously. Do not give those away. Who I don't care I how to? Nick will look at them and be like, those are mine. No, they're <laughs> mine. And I love them. Can my little mini fit in here so I don't lose Shove them? it in. Ugh. You got it. I'll pull. <laughs> Teamwork. There we go. Look at that. I made a sock set. <laughs> And then I'll just finish out with McKinney Nittery. I sent Kristen a picture of this yarn on my first trip. And I was like, no, I don't need it. I'm going to be good. She's like, should I do it or should I be good? And I was like, do it. And she's like, I was good. I was good. But then Michelle wanted to go back. So <laughs> I purchased three skeins of Suburban Stitcher and her sock slub Ooh. in the colorway Boardwalk. Oh my gosh. Look at that. 
the little bits of teal. Oh my God. It's so nice. Are you gonna make a tea? I think I- A I, slob tea? I think I wanna make a rocket tea, just solid, just in this color. You nuts. Right though? Look at it. <gasps> it mean... will be a t-shirt of some kind. Um, I was actually gonna ask for recommendations because I don't know what t-shirt I wanna make with it and I don't know how soon I'll make it, but I've been dying in it with slub. And I love this color, it just called to me. And there were only three skeins there, which is exactly how many I needed for a t-shirt. So I had to, right? <laughs> I guess, um, I don't know, I'm scared of slub. I asked today on um, Breaking Yarns podcast cause she's making a muscle bird mm -hmm. out of slub and it looks so cute, but I was like, is that gonna feel normal on your head? Yeah, it'll be Are fine. You sure? I don't I mean, know. I feel like I could feel that. I, I love it. Thing. I was talking to Jess today about it at Arkansas Yarn Co. And she said just to be sure I do my gauge swatch. And then I'll probably have to go up a needle size or two and knit really loosely. That way the texture can shine through. But I think with something like a rocket tee that's meant to be like drapey and flowy, having a really loose gauge and some texture would be really fun, right? What have you guys knit with slub? Tell me. What have you knit with slub? Don't tell me if it takes more than three skeins, though. Keep that to yourself. Yeah, don't. <laughs> then you'll make me sad. You could just have a crop. It'll be a cropped version. It'll be so cute. Ew. With the dress? With the black it dress? It would be cute on other people, but not on me. I thought you wanted to have the other one to be kind of cropped. Yeah, I lied. I lied. <laughs> I'm not going to wear a cropped anything. It's not happening. I mean, I think it'd be really cute. This t-shirt goes down to my knees. That's what I'm comfortable in. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this. I love it. Okay, just two more things. Um, this was from Long Dog Yarns, Long, Long, no, Lone Star Fibers, it's not Long Dog, it is Bashful Armadillo, it's is the brand, beautiful. this one's mine, it's so pretty, oh that's my a good gosh. color, and this one's Kristen's, yes it is, <gasps> look at can it, can you tell, can you tell, <laughs> I mean I love the color blue, I'm actually not that big of a pink fan, but when but I like, see look yarn, at it. when I see yarn, it's pink, Mm -hmm. It's gotta be pink. This is so pretty, friend. Right? Oh my goodness. What's it called? Bashful, Bashful Armadillo. Bashful Armadillo. Look so at cute. the cute little logo. So these were dyed in Texas. It's a local Texas dyer. Um, super cute. I was in a play in high school. I showed you the, the thing last week. But yeah. I was in a play in high school about armadillos. <laughs> and Or it was called something about an armadillo. And it was set in Texas and I had a fake southern accent. That was before I lived in the South. Love. And it was horrible, but <laughs> hilarious. And this is just reminding me of that. So cute. Yeah. I love it. Oh my gosh. They're basically the same. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that when I got them. I, I was love like, them um, so oops. Much. <laughs> my bad. It's so good. Maybe I should have gotten you more variety. I feel like that was good. That's so good. <laughs> That's a hard thumbnail. <laughs> Love it. Okay. That's everything I bought. That's everything That's you it. bought. Should have bought more. I mean, no. We, remember when we were going to go on a yarn diet? Remember that? <laughs> it didn't last long. That's okay, though, because I don't believe in a yarn diet anyway. I still need one, diet. but True. I need a yarn diet. I don't really believe in other diets. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> she sends me a video of herself eating a peach and then I was like ooh a healthy bitch and she was like uh huh and the next video was her eating candy <laughs> we, she sends me videos of her eating it's one of my favorite things to yeah, do it's one of my favorite things to watch I don't know why <laughs> because one time I said please send me a video of you eating every day because you sent me one video of you eating an amazing bagel oh, and yeah. I was like um yes Send me a video Send me of more of eating that. every day. <laughs> so I do, just about every yeah. day, just about every meal. I just decrease too far, so now I have to pick out a decrease row so I can catch near this heel. I'm dancing. So you talk. I'm what are you knitting dancing. on? Um, today I'm knitting, I didn't talk about this one yet. This is a one of the six socks I cast on originally for Summer Sock Camp. Now I'm at seven. This is a Knit Picks Felici sock. I'm just doing a vanilla sock. Um, this is nine inch circulars cuffed down. Um, Knit Picks Felici Animal Cookie or Animal Cracker. I'm not really, I think it's Cookie. Animal, animal cookie. cookie. If you remember those like nasty tasting, like frosted pink and cookies, you know, this mm -hmm. is what that is. And um, then I just have like a regular mini. And so I'm just knitting it straight and I'm going to do a cut in heel, afterthought heel. Um, and then this is where I was last time. Again, it doesn't look like I knit very far, but I am knitting on six socks simultaneously <laughs> and a sweater. So <laughs> I'm gonna move my progress keeper, but um, I don't really like this colorway very much. 
Uh, really? Because of the striping oh, okay. pattern. I talked about it last time, but I would have preferred if it had just been like blue, Normal. white, blue, white, and pink in, in between all of them, rather than having this weird stripe of two blues in a row and then white. So like the repeat is actually this. I don't like that. That's ugly. <laughs> in my brain. I want it to be more symmetrical and that's just not gonna work for me. So <coughs> it's fine, but you Will know. you give them away because of that? I doubt it. Cause I love pink and blue. And I was thinking of giving it to my friend who's trans because they are the trans pride color, trans, trans, trans? Mm -hmm. I can't say it, flag. Trans pride flag colors. But she would never wear this. Yeah. <laughs> she is punk rock. She'd be like, um, thanks, friend, but no thanks. So I like them, though. So I'll probably keep them. Um, I do love my Felici. I love Felici on my feet. We were just talking earlier about how we need nitpicks to get on it and release the next batch of Felici colors so we can purchase all of them immediately. You know what I just remembered today, too, um, mm. while you're doing other things, that the Cozy Knitter Advent Skin comes out on the 25th of this month. So soon! So we're getting close to the first round of pre-orders for the Cozy Knitter Advent, which is one of my favorite advents. And purchasing it will bring me up. I'm, so far, I'm getting the Arkansas Yarn Co. Advent, the Blush Yarns Advent, the Cozy Knitter Advent I will get. And I still need to go on and buy the Vessel Stitch Co. Advent. I love stitch markers. I love her stitch markers. Her stitch markers are really And her good. advent's only $75. Uh-huh. Free. For it's 24 free. days. And I'm wondering if it's just going to be one stitch marker every day, which probably makes more sense. Yeah. Because or like her, extra normally too. her like stitch markers come in like I can't imagine it'll be like a five. card of them every yeah, day. That's crazy. So. Yeah, that seems insane. But <sighs> maybe like one or two a day. I don't know. Yeah. I even don't... one a day would be fine for $75. Totally fine. That'd be like, what, $3 a piece? Yeah? Yeah, just about. My cat is crying to get in. It's making me so sad. No, it's so, Ryu. No, it's, it's Ryu. Oh, it's Ryu? Yeah. <laughs> it's my baby, the one I love. <laughs> Stop it. Navi's I a cute little grease Navi. ball. Okay, so the uh, second, so I cast on another sock for summer sock camp. So this is actually my seventh pair if I finish them all. Um you crazy. I know. Bish, I know. Um, but these, this is my first time knitting the jelly roll pattern. I don't remember who's the designer. I don't the designer I'll put either. it down below or on the screen if I remember. But look how cute they are. This is the oh, Mandy's man. making. Ooh, drop this game. Oh, we're just going to drop it. Oh, um, <laughs> she's on the ground. Um, <laughs> threw it on the ground. I was about to Stop. Say that. Why are we the same? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay. Well, make it more rad. But like, look how cute this is knitting up. This is my first time knitting up these, um, this pattern. Uh, this is, this heel, she tied. Yeah. She got tight heel. They told me to go up a stitch, uh, a needle size. And I never like, do that. Not I don't have, I should have done it. It's did you do so it tight. the way she writes it in a pattern? How pretty Where you like knit across yes. and then slide on my back? Yes, I did. I did it. I always do it as just one by one color work. No, nope. Like one color in each I hand. did it just like that and it's, it's, it's really beautiful. good. Beautiful. Look, look how pretty that striped up because it's like, right? And then it's, I'm going to do that with my leftovers. I have enough it's leftover so for another pair of socks and I was trying to decide what to do with yeah. it. And I think I will do the jelly roll. Those are really cute. And so this is just where I started at the very top. I cast these on 4th of July. I only worked on them 4th of July and I got through probably half of the gusset. I'm and then happy. there's some more color work in the middle. And so, I mean, I'll keep showing them, but you know, Maddie finished a whole pair for 4th of July. Not yes, she did. said the cat. Um, I finished a pair and a half, but this is the yarn. So pretty. I'm hoping I'll get to make two pairs and then I can mix and match no. them. So I'll do, like you know, opposite, opposite jelly rolls. Yeah, I think so. Should I do that with mine? I mean, do you just do the that? tabby one. Oh yeah, do yeah, a hundred percent. Okay, yes. I guess I won't do the jelly adorable. rolls. Adorable. Well, we can switch. I can have your other tabs, and you can have my other cute jelly roll. I mean, best friend socks. We have so many of those. We have best friend socks. Yeah, we just switch one sock, not one. No, one that's pair. Silly. Don't, I can't <laughs> wear mix match patterns. <laughs> Too much. No. Okay, and then I have a half finished object here. This is another one Yay. of the six socks. This is Woolen Zunosh in the color Saltwater Taffy. We love her. It, I love her so much. Her name Michelle. is Michelle. <laughs> and she is lovely. She dyes some mega pretty yarn. Like, oh it's God. so good. Look at those stripes. Y'all, I just, when I found the second blue stripe, I was like, I'm in love. <laughs> I love it so much. 
it's so good this is a really good rainbow um digging it I made it longer than normal normal our normal recipe is 60 row leg then a heel so you're changing you're adapting I'm adapting I like a longer sock this is probably going to my friend Rebecca but first it's gonna go to Lori at Arkansas Yarn Co Display. to display for yarn crawl and so it is just really pretty I hope that it blocks out nicely because it's been in my bag this is where I was last podcast two weeks ago and now I'm on the second sock I actually I had it. just started the cuff of the second sock and I pulled it out so I could use the needles for the fourth of July sock nice and I needed two needles to do the cuffs oh, I didn't yeah. have another needle <laughs> like oh Gotta buy more. so yeah Hopefully, I'll cast on and finish the second one, give this to Lori, so that I can have it back in August and send it to my friend before she moves to New Zealand. Why am I doing all this with my hands? Why not? Watch the sound be completely off. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> It'd probably be for the better, because we're chaos But today. look how pretty. Oh, this is the Vessel Stitch Co. stitch marker that we got in last week's. It's so cute, and it matches Love. so well. And she sent me another one when I ordered it. She's like, I thought this looked like your sock. And it was super cute. It was a lollipop. She's and it did look so exactly sweet. like this sock. I love her. Is it oh, we right have there. one of the lollipop ones we have yeah. um, to, for the giveaway. This is the one she sent me. <laughs> it's so cute. And then love she, um, I ordered these ones with my 4th of July one. So I'll have these for Christmas. Cute. cute. I saw them. You I love them. a couple of those too. Yay. I like them. Okay, so that's a couple of my or uh, whips. My whips. You want to go for some whips? Yeah, I just start picked up another whip because I just had another fo. You all watched it. You saw it happen. The Kitchener of the heel. <laughs> They're done. Yay! I'll it's a bow. Yay, a bow. <laughs> I'll weave in the ends and block some... these bad boys. Oh, I was no, like, I what about fuh. these socks? <laughs> Makes you want soup, you weirdo. I want <laughs> um, the other pair of socks I started is for my husband. These are with last year's July oh, Yarnable. Those are good. They're really yeah. good. I don't remember the color name. I don't have it's this ball band. It's called Firework, I think. Is it? Yeah. I love the way it's pooling. It's amazing. It's a good pool. I hope it does it on the second one, too. That's almost like micro stripey yeah. flashing. Right? I love it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So these are just shorties for my husband. Um, I am I just switched to the toe, working on that now, and then I'll cast on the second one. I have the little balls in here. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like it a lot. Really pleased with it. He's been eyeballing them for a long time. Um, he really likes this yarn. So I also cast this on 4th of July. I made on it Sunday. It's Sunday and Monday, just about after I finished the other ones. And I love it. These I just did a 10 row cuff and then switched straight into vanilla. And I'm going to cut on the heel down here somewhere, wherever. Makes for it shorties. Shit his foot. And then yeah. you make shorties for yourself? I might. Matching. I they might just go to like scrappy stuff. I can mm. see them being really cute, like bottle cozies mm -hmm. and coasters. They might. Oh, yeah. I may use it up that It'd way just really to have. Skinny can cozies. Yeah, I think so. So I may do like skinny can cozies. Give one to Lori. She loves those. So there's that. Um, just dig into my other FOs. I pulled out these Georgia socks because I cast on and did just the ribbing of them a decade ago and then have not touched them. These are Georgia's and Arkansas Yarn Co in this color is rock the vote and then i have mustang sally and dating a royal in there these are really good i made their farmer's insurance colors um that's where i work that's the agency i opened with my family and i made a pair of georgias for myself in those colors a pair of vanilla socks for my dad and then these georgias are for my mom and i just need to work on them so i pulled them out to show them to you so you can all bully me if i don't have progress next time if i don't have progress next time in the comments you should all unsubscribe i'm kidding don't do that, don't do that. maybe i don't know <laughs> maybe i deserve it <laughs> my cat is so sad. Really sad i'm so tempted to let him in but all he's no. gonna do is mess with our blinds we don't have that much longer no um, um oh you still have more i, yeah, I, I don't more. know why i interrupted you i'm no, sorry no no i said go um okay. i have another so why did i do that that was so rude more socks so these are my Dalacanium socks. It is a free pattern by Dina Stelly. Um, really yes, it's a really good pattern. I modified the pattern. My notes are on Ravelry because her pattern is written toe up for a weird stitch count. So I just modified it. Um, this is where I was last time. It's another um, Vessel Stitch Co. stitch marker. This one is like a hot dog on a fork. <laughs> and it's really pretty. This yarn is Monastel Uruguay in the color Locura Fluo. It's a really nice yarn. It is 
very cushy. I don't, I'm not going to make socks out of Monocell or Y again. This will be exclusively Musselberg yarn. It's too soft. Um, I can already tell this is not going to stay out. There's no like give, even though there is, um, what do you call it? Nylon? nylon? Yes. There's nylon in the sock. It's not, it's not reading that way when you feel it. I don't know. Um, I know a lot of people can work with stuff that doesn't have nylon for sock, but me and Maddie are weird about nope. it. This one does have nylon, but still feels like it doesn't. It's so soft. It's so pretty. It's so bright. I'm at the point where I would do a heel, but I think I'm going to go a little further and get yeah. some more length in that foot. I might help it stay up some too. I love it. It's so pretty. This is a beautiful colorway and I did really the black good. on everyone's decision. I think a couple times ago I asked what color and everyone's like black. So black. it was black and it looks great. I love it. Uh, a lot of people ask about this pattern. Just it's on Ravelry free. Um, but are your notes uh, in your Ravelry? Yes. It, it's I got the weird side thing going on, but that's okay. And I'm going to move my stitch marker and you can go on your next one now. Oh, okay. Are you ready? No. No, I have to move my stitch marker because I'll forget if I don't. I don't know what just happened. My Did stitch is all. Bad? No, my stitch is just loosey-goosey, but it'll block. It'll block. I'm finishing my row. Just one moment, friends. Why am I doing toes? Why am I not knitting vanilla right now? I don't know. What's wrong with me? Why are you doing that? Who knows? I have um, one more vanilla sock going. Oh my gosh, we have twinning bags. We're so cute. Look <laughs> at us. We're adorable. I should have on this. This is vanilla. Oh, that's cute. Is that for a little person? It's for you. Oh, it's for me. <laughs> I'll save that for one of your children. <laughs> Surprise. Nephews. It's so cute. I think they'll be shorties. I did a little short cuff because I was feeling so it. Don't cute. you think the like, little summer shorties? Yeah. Cute. cute. So I just cast it on and then I got distracted. But they'll be for you. They're so pretty. That was a July gift. What colorway is that? It is. Is that an old Felici? No, it's the Cozy Knitter. Oh. It's one I bought for you a long, long time one. ago. Yes. Um, but I love how it's got the gray stripe in between each color. It's so cute. And I'm not even through a full color repeat. It's going to have pink, purple, oh, red, oh. yellow. So yeah. Cute. My winder was acting funny, so I wound this one by hand. Um, but then I figured out, I was texting with some friends who also have that winder and troubleshooting and figured out what my issue was. I was winding in the wrong direction, like a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so that's one of them. It's a cozy knitter. Oh, and then I have my little mini in here. She cute. Very cute. Love her. Love that color. It looks like you. It's doesn't mini. it? It doesn't look like It looks Krista. like a little mermaid and I love it. It's really fun. It makes me happy. So that's for you eventually. Thanks, Fran. Yeah. We both have the same bag. Was These are by Mountain State Stitches. Yeah, Jenny of Mountain State Stitches. Hi, I love Jenny. her. She's the best. She's in my knit group, and I love zooming with her and knitting. She's the best. It's a really good bag. I love it. Um, I was who posted. I think it was Caffeinated Crafted Mama, who posted the horrible image of her yarn being stuck in a zipper. Oh, no. Yeah, that's why I love these bags. These drawstring bags. Yeah. So this is my I think fourth, maybe fifth. I don't know which one I'm on, how many I've shown so far. This is know. my, um, I think I'm at heel on this one for sure. So this is the Butterfly Kisses socks. It's um, blush yarn. Good stuff. Yeah, that it on. doesn't have a name, but it came in that bag as a kit. Maddie got it for us. And look how pretty it is. This is where I was last time. It's a lemonade stitch marker from... Vessel Stitch Co. <laughs> Look how cute it is, guys. Okay, I love that and one. so it's the Butterfly Kisses pattern. I always pick the wrong sock colorway to knit this pattern on because it's not reading very well on camera. It reads well in person, I think, but um, on camera, you can't really tell. The pattern like, is. Look at the back of it, though. Show the back. Yeah. It, the way it's like micro striping. The pattern is by the Crazy Sock Lady. It is a pay for pattern, but it's a good pattern. And mm -hmm. this is long. This is 80 rows it's of leg one. and yeah. you're going to put in the heel. I think I'm going to like it like that though. Um, yeah, definitely. This is going to be the first K pattern I've knit for myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh I've knit gosh, her patterns before. Stuff from all my friends. I know. A bag from my friend. <laughs> yarn from my friend Natalie. Yeah, a pattern from your friend. Crazy pattern from lady. Kay, who's not really my friend, but I love her. Yeah, we'll pretend. I want to be her friend. <laughs> and then for you, my best friend. Yes, yeah, see? What a full circle moment. We're going to cry. Best friend socks. <laughs> so dramatic. I know. Um, 
but yeah it's coming along it's at heel I really wanted to have like half of my socks finished already but well so is life you know um love that though love the socks love the shoes love the bag love everything love <laughs> what's on the floor what is on the floor is that my ball band I guess is it oh yeah it's, it's the blush yarns ball band <laughs> Um, my bangs are giving me like 90s teen heartthrob vibes right now, you know, like the boy version, JTT, Devin Sawa. Y'all know? Y'all know? Y'all, you don't know. You're too young. Sorry. Um, that's that. help when I was I born. Have another I have one more sock here. Wrap it up. I have, I don't mean wrap it up. I mean like you take the show. I don't mean hurry up. I just mean like. Wrap it up, bitch. You carry it from here. <laughs> That was rude, and I didn't mean for it to be. I'm sorry. It's fine. Um, I'm fine with it. I just meant you keep like, going, and then I'll I'll come in again with my last two. I like the abuse. Oh, give it to me. Okay. God, what an episode. I know. We should never stand again. <laughs> <laughs> I think we did better drinking than we did standing. Probably true. Okay, this is a. Hey, grandparents, watch this. Hi, Gramps and Grams. Um. <laughs> Hi, I love you guys. <laughs> This is just a vanilla sock on a colorway from Italy, and one of our viewers told me that I was saying it wrong, and that's <laughs> fine. And I don't know the colorway, it's just a number. I guess they don't really do colorways there. This is where I was last time, and now I've done half of a heel, and I'm doing it in the way I don't really love, which is a standard slip stitch heel. The best way. Flap and guess it. <laughs> but this is such a pretty colorway, like it's so like vibrant and different. Mm -hmm and it's like textiles you know like this reminds me of like like the mediterranean like kind yeah. of look you it know it makes like, me think of my little brother ben hmm. if i were naming that it would be for him hmm. i don't know why those aren't even his colors he likes red but that makes me think of him well i like it and um ben can't have it well i don't, expect I don't even know ben that him. much um and <laughs> i know all your other brothers more than ben you, you know him he lived with me for I, a while i know but i only met him once and he came <clears> in and he was like you're not buddy and i was like thank god <laughs> a good interaction buddy's her husband if you don't know you my should know that if you watch this. Stitch marker. Maddie made this. You gotta fix that class for me, hon. Damn it, too. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I hate doing heel flaps. I don't like it. It's not my preferred heel, but I have been doing them because I, this is just what I know. So I'm gonna go back to my short row heel soon, but the, all these socks have either heel flaps or cut in heels. <laughs> <laughs> It got hot in here all of a sudden. It did. Um, but yeah, love that. That's, I think, my last sock. Uh, I only have a top left. I think I have, do I have another sock? Oh, I have, I have my top, but then I just have one that I was going to mention. Did you show your muscle bark? No. Did I not show it? No, everyone's obsessed with the muscle bark from last time. I'm sorry. We'll put a picture of Buddy wearing it. That makes me so it. sad. Did Buddy wear it yet? No, it's take, like. Take a picture of Buddy yeah, wearing it. Yeah, it's sitting on top of the yarn you. shelf. Then we'll put I'll it here. I'll take a picture of it. It fits. It's normal. It is. It looks huge. That's why everyone was talking about it. I can't believe that was just last week. I thought that was, was longer two weeks ago. ago. Two and a half oh, yeah. now. But weird. Yeah. Anyway, I brought what I'm casting on next. This is what I'm going to knit for Sock Week 2021. Um, it's a knit along that Nitty Natty hosts in conjunction with Shark Week. Um, starts on July 11th, mm -hmm. I think. July 10th or 11th. 11th. And then goes for eight days. And it's to knit a pair of socks in that eight days. These are going to be for my dad's birthday. That's at the end of July. So perfect timing. I just brought them there in my baby Yoda bag from That's Molly Klein Designs. <laughs> yeah. Um, so just showing these because hopefully next episode. Yeah. yeah. Next episode they'll be done. So get ready yeah. for that. <laughs> and I'll save them and show them because his birthday's not till the end of the month. Sorry I forgot my muscle break. That makes me sad. It's okay. We'll put a picture. I'll pretend I'm buddy right now. <laughs> Love it. And then we both have Bright Axis tees. That's our last yes. project. Yes, we do. Yes. Mine is in a Mountain State Stitches bag. Mine is in oh, an snap. old snap bag. This is Jimmy Bean's wool. Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> you can ask. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so we're both knitting these with Malabrigo and Woolens and Knot. Thank you. <laughs> I lost it. Yeah. Um, you're further along than me. I am so far along. And last time I wasn't because I showed mine on last podcast and I have my stitch marker from last podcast. So we're both modifying this pattern 
Anyway. Like, lengthwise, right? You're not going to make it cropped. I don't know. You're not going to make <laughs> it cropped. cropped. <laughs> She's like, if I get lazy, I'm <laughs> True. So we have joked around that this is going to be our Arkansas yarn crawl uniform because everyone who's coming to Arkansas for the end of July, first week of August, what's the dates actually? 20 July 30th through August 7th. July 30th through August. It's only one week. I'm pretty darn sure. Yeah, because yeah. it starts Friday, which okay. is the 30th. Yes. So, yes. So, for that week, there are six stores in Arkansas. Oh my I God. don't know. We'll put the infographic. I, I have the infographic. I'll put it here. There are a bunch of stores, and they're all doing a yarn crawl together. There's prizes. There's a passport. There's a meet and greet with us. There's Knick Knack Knits is doing a bag show. Mitchell's Creations doing a yarn show, a trunk show, mm -hmm. right? Um, Maddie's going to do sock doctoring for two days. Yeah, both, both Saturdays. Saturdays. So the the thirty the first the thirty first and the seventh. Yes. I'll be at Arkansas Yarn Co. Open the clothes mm -hmm. to help the socks answer your questions, fix your mistakes, give you pointers, whatever you need. It's going to be great. And um, they're doing like a event, there's giveaways. It's yeah, really, really cool. Prizes and different yeah. like extra goodies and stuff um, for what you purchase. Like if you purchase over a certain amount, you get a free mini or a free stitch marker, stuff like that. They usually have a really good bag, like a tote bag. Yes. Um, and it's just, it's really good. That's how we started our yarn journey together, really. That's yeah. where it all started for us. So it's like reminiscent. And we didn't get to have one last year. So, yeah, so we're, we're excited. Really excited. <laughs> we're going to be at Arkansas Yarn Co. the Saturday and Sunday of the first week. So the 31st and the 1st. And we will be there um, Saturday, August 7th as well. Yes. So come to Arkansas Yarn Co. They're working extended hours. Yeah. And we'll be there the whole time. Yeah, if you're anywhere close, Texas, Tennessee, Kansas, Oklahoma. I don't actually know if we have any other, like, southern followers. I think we have some Arkansas and then, yeah. like, everywhere else. But um, Come see us. Come see there us. There are other yarn stores kind of yes. nearby in Arkadelphia. That one's not far. So yes. you can make a crawl out of it. But Lori at Arkansas Yarn Co. and Jess and Anna hosted a knit along for the Bright Access Tea from Knit Happy with Self-Striping Yarn by Telly Ben ne Telly Bean Knits on Instagram. I don't know her real name, but we'll put it down below. Um, so <laughs> they hosted a knit along for the Bright Access Tea. Uh, we did not do it then, but we were so jealous of how pretty Jess's turned out. We put it on our bodies. We loved it. We fell in love. We're like, we're doing we it too. Yarn. We bought the yarn. We bought everything we needed. We're like, oh, here we go. We're doing it. And then we found out that like a whole bunch of other people were also knitting them yeah. that are constantly in the yarn store. So we like said, all the regulars. yeah, we're all going to wear it on the yarn crawl days. We're going to wear it. We're going to be super cute in our bright access tees. And this is how far I am. So Hoping far. to finish by the time we leave. I think we're going to go on Friday. Yeah. Friday night. For, yeah. The first night? Okay. Probably. Um, or earlier, I don't know. This Early is where Saturday. I was last week. Um, oh my god. Or gosh. two weeks ago. Yeah. This first one. This is another Vessel Stitch Co. stitch marker. Um, the pattern is written just like in the round, but I did a split hem. So I've got two inches of, of ribbing on the back, one inch on the front, which is hard to tell because I knit in all black because I'm dumb. It's really cute. Though. I'm so dumb. <laughs> You're gonna love it. <laughs> um, but it's almost done. I've only got two inches left to of the body and it's gonna be to about there and then it'll have the stripes up on the top. You've got some short row shaping. Yeah, too, a little short row shaping and so far I've only used about one and three quarters or one and two thirds um, skeins of Malabrigo Black. This is sock yarn. Um, I'm really glad I alternated skeins because you can see the difference yeah. in color. <laughs> it's crazy. So um, I'm glad that I did that. Um, and it's really good. I'm happy. This is my other colorway. For the top, so this is Woolens in Nosh. The colorway is called Blair. Do you have my leg warmers? which I just love. It's going to be super cute. Um, who's knitting it? Betty uh, is Lori's mother-in-law, Jess's grandma. Um, she is knitting this, this color with this one, and I'm knitting black with this one. And we're going to be like a little trio. It's going to be cute. It's going to be so cute. And what's your other color way? It's the way? What's it this called? is the way or something like this that? This is the way. 
So that's my combo. Easy Mine is so Malibu Girl Reflecting Pool and this on top. I have not done as much. Let me But adjust. you've done a bunch since you started it. <laughs> yeah, since I finally picked it up again. I just picked this up again Sunday. Yeah. Or Monday. Monday. Yeah. Monday. Yeah. Sunday unit, 4th of July. Yeah, that's true. So I did on this Monday morning and then in the car we were driving around and stuff. That's my stitch marker from the last podcast. So I've done a little bit. Um, I'm also alternating. I'm knitting it helically. 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 I did too. Um, I, I figured it out. did two by two <laughs> ribbing instead of one by one because I won't do one by one. Even if someone puts a gun to my head, it won't be happening. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the Georgia socks. I'll do it for them. Um, well, that's twisted. Yeah, that's twisted one by one. Like a maniac. But this is just two by two. Um, that's my little 4th of July marker from that's Vessel Stitch, Stitch Co. Co. My nails look really bad. That's sad. Um, <gasps> oh my, you should have not said anything. Who never am I? Everyone's going to notice. Yeah. And they're not white or pink. Who am I? Um, yeah, that's what I've got. A little bit of progress. I don't know how long I'll make it. The pattern says to nine and three quarter inches, I think, for my size. I picked 17 inches. Wow, I don't think I'll be doing, I don't know. I picked 17 inches and it's going to still hit me higher. I, when I block it, because it's going to block long, um, it'll be longer than that even. But I picked 17 inches for the front. I don't want to do that. I wanted to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that at all. I wanted mine really long. So um, I picked dang. 17 inches. I need to, I'm going to text our group chat with Lori and Jess a little bit and see how long they made theirs. Because I don't know. I think Lori made hers about 15, 16 inches, and I know that Anna made hers like 17 inches, but Jess did hers to pattern. Jess's was cute. Do I need it longer than that? I did. I put it on and I was like, um, that's like belly button if I go like this. Oh, shoot. And we all know I like to raise the roof. Um, so yeah, my deadline for myself is to have this done by like the 28th or 29th. That way I have, I have time to block it before the crawl. So I'm going to sit down tonight and measure it and do some math and divide it up over the days and write it in my planner because then I will actually do it. If I can do an inch a day, I'm done next week. Oh my god. I'm so excited. And then I'm going to cast on the sorrel. Yes. I'm going to cast on the Stop dancing. What's wrong with you? Wow. After <laughs> this, I'm just going to work on my sea glass tee because I cast that on and then put it down. But I really want to knit that one too. I think it's really cute. Um, so I want to do my sea glass and then the summer sorrel and then whatever you guys tell me to do with my slub. So give me suggestions. <gasps> give a slub suggestion. Slub. I love that yarn. Slub. So pretty. So pretty. That's all I've got. That's all I got too. I'm waiting on my Wooly Mama yarn clubs. They always come so late. They're just in mm -hmm. Chicago. It makes me so sad. Just hanging out in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Thursday, my birthday. That also makes me sad. Um... Um, what else makes me sad? Let's do a sad segment. Let's not. <laughs> sad. Um, what makes you happy? What's making you happy right now? My job. Your job is making you happy? I really like my job. Gross. I really like it. <laughs> Ew, corporate swine. No, just kidding. Sorry, I am fine. Yeah. I don't really care. I I'm love it. I'm really swine. enjoying it. Getting used to the new business and getting comfortable with everything and I'm really loving my job, so that's really fun. It's very nice to like your job. Yeah. I don't necessarily like my job, but I mean, there's nothing to not like about my job. I just, it's not. It's just a job. It's that's how my job. last job was. Yeah. It's like, this is where I work. I've it's done fine. it for 10 years, <sighs> so I'll be all right. Um, it's a long time. It's a long time. Um, down. I don't I enjoy this. We were talking about that today. We both decided that we wanted to be professional knitters and, and we're going to do it one day. One day. She's going to take me along for the ride because I'll never be able to do it on my own. But <laughs> when I own this fine. business yeah. soon enough, yeah. then I can. Yeah. Yeah. And me too, maybe. As yeah. a friend. <laughs> uh, let's see what's going on. So we talked about the yarn crawl. Come. If you're nearby, just. It's a nice summer trip. Arkansas is nice. Our friend, don't say that. She's lying. I'm Arkansas is horrid. Horrid. Wear shorts and a tank top. 95 only. degrees today. <laughs> 95 billion degrees. Yeah, it's terrible. It's awful. But our friend Jen, the Crafted Pearl, is going to be there too. We're so excited. I'm really, really excited yes. to meet her. And we talked about maybe doing a joint podcast. 
some sort of collaborative Ooh, video with that. Dan. That's gonna be exciting. Yes, yes. so we're gonna we'll play that by ear, see how yes. the weekend goes. But that would be really really fun to fit something in. Um, so we may even just like put out and ask if anybody has questions for the two of us and just do something, just a chit chat. Maybe not a regular video, but an extra. Yeah. Anyway, we'll talk about that more when we get there. Yeah. I yeah. think what's been making me happy because it's not my job. Um, is watching podcasts. I, when we started this podcast, I hadn't watched podcasts. Um, I started watching Jen's because it was easy to get into, Jen the Crafted Pearl, because she had just started too. And so it was like, oh, I don't have to go through this huge backlog because I'm a freak and I have to watch everything from the beginning. Yeah, you got to start with her. Yeah, so I got to start with her and it was like really like easy like to consume. Mm -hmm. And um, same thing with uh, Fiberbound because she didn't have very yeah. many episodes out either. But when you talked me into watching Chevy Rail for the first time, I went back to episode one. I had to watch 60 episodes to catch up. Um, worth it. It was worth it. We I love it. her. Um, so since then, I am editing podcasts and stuff like that. I'll watch podcasts while I edit. And I have gotten into so many now. More than I think that you watch. Oh, definitely. So definitely more I than me. I started watching, I watched today, um, Knit Knack, Knit Knack, Zach. Knit, Knit. Oh yeah, I'll link it. He's so cute, and his podcasts are so like energetic and fun. And he knits cute. a lot of Stephen West. He knits a lot of sweaters. Crazy. Fast. Yeah. He knits. He so works at fast. Muse three twenty twenty three twenty or something like that. Muse two thirty. Yeah, fiber. I think it's twenty three twenty. I think it's two thirty. Yeah, thirty two thirty. There's a two, a three, and a zero and in a some two. order. <laughs> We'll put it down below, but he, his podcast is really good. He's only got like four episodes, so that's easy enough. Mm -hmm. I started listening to um, Needles at the Ready podcast. Love that. I love Men Who Knit. That's like my favorite thing. Yes. Um, and I started watching A Lefty Knitter hmm. um, based on Chevy Rell's suggestions. And also Nitty Bitty Sisters. I started watching I them. I don't watch any of these. They've just started too. And so it's so good, so easy. And they're sisters and they're fun. Cute. And they live close. They met Jen, which is what oh, made me cool. think about this. So they've already met Jen the Crafted Pearl. Jealous. And I was like, cool. This is awesome. Like, uh, these are people that we could, like, know, maybe. Yeah. And so. We could be our friends. I know. I started. I did not watch all of Nitty Natty and Crazy Sock Ladies. Backlog. I've watched all of theirs. I can't. It's I love too them. much. I love them both. Natalie's so <sighs> sweet. I've met her. We've both met Natalie of um, Nitty Natty or the Love and Stitches podcast. She came to Arkansas, to Arkansas Yarn Co. We yeah. got to meet her. She's her. very nice. She's very pretty. Um, mm -hmm. But that's a big backlog of stuff to watch. So sometimes it'll come on like my suggested and I'll watch them. But for the most part, I just have skipped their backlog and watched their new ones. And it's just, it's really inspiring to keep watching people. Yeah. It. and so it's making me feel it's like my calm down thing like if I need to like calm my nerves I'm like I'll just like listen to people knit for a minute <laughs> it's been great love that so yes. um thank you for podcasting keep doing so yes if you've been thinking about starting a podcast start yes. one it's so fun there's always room for more it's fantastic mm -hmm. jump in we love it yes yes I was just thinking about Arkansas Yarncast. I love watching them too because yes. they volunteered Maddie to write a pattern today. I was watching today's episode this morning while I was making my coffee and like getting ready for work. Uh, and just in the middle of it, Lori just like calls me out. She's like, oh, we told Maddie um, that she's just going to design a men's, a men's pattern yeah. for us. And I was like, oh, I didn't know you told me that. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Is this when you're telling me that? Cool. We'll do. They've told you that. Okay. Yes. I don't remember. They talk about it all the time. You're like, yeah, I'll get on it. Like. Just joking, but like, no, get on So it. I guess I'm going to design a masculine sock pattern. Yes. There's UPS. What if you had yarn on that truck? I don't. That'd be nice. What if it was your... It's my Amazon package. Oh. I'm so hungry. Um, I want pho. I'm starving. I'm going to have to go get food. <laughs> what are you guys eating? <laughs> Tell us what's for dinner. What's for dinner? Um, yes. So... That was a long podcast. I feel like it was a little chaotic. Definitely I that. Hope you stick around. I hope you still like us. We won't stand up next time. I definitely said bad words. Me too. I try not to do that as often as possible. Excuse me. That was gross. Uh, Lou's sock. I just added the pink. I love it. I love it so much. That's a good, it's a good sock. One. It's a good sock. So we hope that you're having a good day. We hope that you're getting a lot of knitting in or crocheting or sewing or whatever you like to do I need to pick up my crocheting so do you we both have crochet works that need to get done I'm working on a float tote from Nitty Natty and a cat couch and, oof, 
I need to work on that cat couch. Shit. I need to work on that yes. bad. Yes. I forgot about it. You do. And so we yeah. are going to go get food now. Yay. Or something. Oh, do you want to know a top secret surprise? It's not a surprise because I'm about to spoil it. Yeah. I'm going to get to set up my yarn room next week. Yay. <laughs> I'll have a yarn room again. I'm excited. I'm so excited. You should vlog that. Yes. I wanted to vlog this weekend and then I forgot. Without <laughs> Went out With all my yarny adventures. Just for my channel. Oh, that's true. You never I mean, post on your I channel. I never anymore. do. But, but we're going to do... What's it called? Don't commit me to things. Myth. Oh, yes, I yeah. will do that. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, don't commit me to things. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I have too much going on. <laughs> um, I got new glasses, too. Do you like them? I do. I want some. Maybe it would take do away from like this them? forehead. I like them. I went for a bolder frame. Um, and they turn into sunglasses, which is nifty. I like them. <gasps> I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know these were transition lenses. Mm -hmm. Pretty. I really like them. Don't tell me if you don't like them. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh it. okay so we love you guys please answer and leave questions you know answer answer, answer. what i thought we have questions <laughs> answer our questions and then ask us some questions okay bye oh do you want to check your phone really quick because i did post on instagram did to see it? if anyone had questions so just check our dms okay, not bye it'll be <laughs> awkward if there's no dms it's like nobody likes you i think we have one message <laughs> here's the message Eh. Two messages? Yes! <laughs> Jen, our friend Jen of the Crafts of Pearl said, said, No questions, but Kristen's hair is a vibe and I'm loving it. She must like 90s heartthrobs. It is a vibe. Is it Devin it's Sawa or Deb JTT? Big what do you think? mood. Except for like this part. I feel like I look like a Quaker if I take that away. <laughs> <laughs> Not a Quaker. What do you call it? Like a Mennonite? <laughs> <laughs> An Amish? <laughs> clip and send this to Jen when we get done. <laughs> oh, and then um, the Heart Pine House says, how did you learn to knit? Who is your Desert Island pattern writer? Ooh, okay. Um, learn to knit. That's a good question. That's a very good question. Let's look her up. Look her up. Make sure we're following her. We are, yes. Little Pine Knits. Little pa Heart Pine House, owner of Little Pine Knits. Okay, so I learned to knit um, originally in elementary school. My mom's a knitter. Um, she learned to knit while I was in elementary school too. So she learned and then we both joined our church's prayer shawl ministry and learned just basic knitting. Um, prayer shawls, they were just like big rectangles basically. So just with Hobby Lobby yarn, cast on in a big rectangle and then we would bless them and give them to people in the church. Really cool. So that was how I originally learned and then I got into the knitted knockers and knit those for several years while I was in middle school and high school they are boobs my boobs. grandmother had breast cancer and had to um and needed a prosthetic or a knitted knocker of some kind so i started making those for her learned how made her a whole collection and then everyone in her nursing home who also had that made one of them so jumped into that love it then i kind of took a break from knitting for like late high school and all of college didn't really knit much and then started again just like three years ago um, I wanted to knit socks. Yeah, it would have been like a year before we met, so maybe four years now. We haven't known each other that long. I've only been married for you forever. I've only been married for two and a half years, oh, that's and true. you were already. Oh, anyway, yeah, I think I've only been knitting as an adult, like knitting socks and things, for about three years. So, um, Desert Island Pattern Writer probably Kay, the crazy sock lady, just because I feel like all of her sock patterns are a vibe for me, and I really love them. And there's not really one other designer who I go back to over and over. But every time she puts out like a call for testers or a new pattern, I think I have all of her sock patterns. I buy them every time. So, did what you, about you do the Rainbow Connection? I've not done that one yet. I need to. Um. That's the only pattern of hers that like sticks in my brain where I'm like, oh, I need to do that. Yeah. Um, so I learned to knit when I was like 16, 17, when I was looking at colleges um, with my grandma. My grandma taught me how to crochet and knit in a line, basically. I could only do like a little bit. And then I picked it up again my sophomore year of college. Um, I kept crocheting. I took to that really quickly, but my sophomore year of college, so I was like 19, my um, friend and roommate both knit. So we started knitting scarves and it was just scarves, long strips of really poorly formed scarves. 
in garter stitch. <laughs> Love. It was horrible. Like they were just not good. And um and you know, off like really cheap acrylic yarn and stuff like that. And then baby blankets. I took to crochet and knitting baby blankets and um scarves, squares, only squares for a really long Red time. Rectangles for me for a long, um, long time. <laughs> mm -hmm. I did like fake um hat patterns where I just made it up. Then I started doing amigurumi and like the little crocheted like bikini tops and stuff like that. Um, just like looking stuff up and being like, eh, I think this is how it goes. And they were all bad. Um, I only started pattern knitting like three years ago. Yeah. And that was, that was it. And I didn't even know, I didn't, I had a Ravelry. I didn't know how to use it. Um, so. And then I forced you to. Yes, basically. friends and I said, use your Ravelry. She said, stop asking me questions. Put your <laughs> notes no. in your notes. She's like, how, what did you do? I'm like, I don't know what I did. And she's like, well, you would know if you put it in your notes on your Ravelry. Well, you also used to ask me questions about yeah. your project. How many mm -hmm. do I cast on? And I would know. Yeah. And like, just <laughs> like, if you put that in your Ravelry, you'll know and you won't have to text me at midnight. Um, <laughs> for me to answer at five. <laughs> yes. Uh, which is just off, you know? Um, if but like, my desert pattern designer, designer would probably be tin can <clears throat> knits. Because okay. they have everything. They've got hats and blankets and and uh, sweaters and all mm -hmm. kinds of stuff. Whereas, like, the Crazy Sock Lady socks. She also has shawls. Yeah. I'm, I haven't done shawls. shawls. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like I shawls. prefer a sweater or a top over a shawl. Plus, <clears throat> I think they have shawls at Tin Can Knits and blankets and just, they have everything. That's a good one. And they so, have for all ages and sizes. Yes. And they did the love note, and that's a really good and pattern. And like the flax and the rye mm -hmm. and the flax light. And the I've rye knit light. so many of their patterns, um, and I love that most of them are free. They do have pay for patterns, but I like a free pattern, so. Um, really, really good. I love people who share knowledge for free. I mean, definitely profit off of your knowledge, but. I was about to say, well, really, time, I well, no. my classes <laughs> and my patterns. I mean, Oops. <laughs> I know that Lori has always said it that she likes to teach people how to knit because people should know how, like, yeah. you know, like that kind of thing. Like, and their patterns are all basic. Nothing mm -hmm. is like extravagant. Nothing's yeah. hard. No, I agree. Absolutely. Yeah. I want to share the general knowledge. Right. Um, but also I like being able to make it like profitable for myself, like make it yeah. sustainable. Um, even though it's not like I don't make <laughs> enough off of patterns and classes to sustain, no. sustain my stash, but at least <laughs> Just help. To sustain your stash. It's bad. Like an addict. Got to sustain my stash. I have too much. <laughs> but okay, now we've been talking for a long time, and I already yeah. said goodbye twice. So bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. We're good. Show. We'll just go we'll we'll go with the flow. We know what we're doing. Yeah. We've done it a couple times. Wait, episode 14? 14? Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Maddie. No. <laughs> Watching too many other people and now I'm awkward. Okay.